so recall that if v and w are two vector spaces and t is a is a map from v to w then we say that t is a linear transformation if for every x y in v and alpha a real number we have t of x plus y is equals to t of x plus t of y and t of alpha times x is equals to alpha times t of x so if i have any transformation we will see that whether this two property holds or not if it holds then we say t is a linear transformation if it does not we say that t is not a linear transformation so in the problem the transformation is given that t when acted on x y g it gives x plus g y plus g and x plus y and we want to see that whether this is a linear transformation or not so what we will do i will take two vectors namely x1 y1 g1 and x2 y2 g2 and consider t of x1 y1 g1 plus x2 y2 g2 but what is this this is equals to t of x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2 and z1 plus z2 and recall that that the what was t the t was t of x y g was x plus g y plus g and x plus y so here when t will act at x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2 and z1 plus z2, then the value will be x1 plus x2 plus g1 plus g2. Then y1 plus y2 plus g1 plus g2 and then the last will be x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2. Now using the associativity rule, I can write this x1 plus x2 plus g1 plus g2 as x1 plus z1 plus x2 plus g2. Similarly, this I can write y1 plus g1 plus y2 plus g2. And this I can write x1 plus y1 and x2 plus y2. And now this is the sum of two vectors namely x1 plus z1 y1 plus z1, x1 plus y1, and x2 plus z2, n2 plus z2, and x2 plus y2. And what is this? This is t of x1, y1, g1, and this is t of x2, y2, g2. And therefore, it satisfies the first property. Now, similarly, if we consider t of alpha x, y, g, which is equal to t of alpha x, alpha y, alpha g, which is equals to alpha x plus alpha z, alpha y plus alpha z, and alpha x plus alpha y. But this I can write further that alpha times x plus g, alpha times y plus g, and alpha times x plus y. And then I can pull out alpha, which gives alpha times x plus g, y plus g, and x plus y. But what is this? This is t of x, y, g. And therefore, it satisfies the second property as well. And hence, t is a linear transformation.